I'm sorry, I had to clean the classroom. It took longer than I expected. Okay, don't worry about it. Gosh, the class president is so cool. I, Kodai Aizu, is an ordinary high school junior. The only thing non-ordinary about me is that I was recruited to be on the student council. The class president, Mi Seno, specifically asked me to be the clerk. Now that Aizu-kun is here, we should get started with the meeting. What? Can we relax for a bit? No, I won't allow slacking off. Come on, I'm sure Kodai-kun needs a second to catch his breath. He just got here. Naru Amai. She is the vice president of the student council and is the exact opposite of the class president. She may seem like she's not serious about her job, but she helps us mentally when we get stuck or trying to solve problems. Naru-san, I'll be okay. We can start the meeting. Thank you for your kind concern. <laughs> Huh? I'm not concerned for you. I was just trying to slack off. She never shows it, but she is professional and competent. Not a lot of people can withstand the burden of juggling vice principal duties and treasurer tasks. Plus, I thought we finished discussing everything last week. We had a meeting and we cleared everything we needed to. I know we scheduled a meeting once every week, but did we really have to get together today? Yes, we did. We have many letters from students in our complaint box to discuss. That complaint box is usually 60% fan letters to you, me. You're right. Add another 30% for Narasan's fans. Unfortunately, only 10% of the letters are actually about the school. Me, you are so popular, not only with boys, but with girls too. <sighs> Naru, the same goes for you. These two are the most popular girls in school. Me, on the other hand. Kodai-kun, don't let it get to you. Uh, I didn't say anything, Naru-san. I know, but it's pretty obvious. How can she read my mind? Can she use magic or something? Oh, I know. Poor Kodai-kun. Do you want both of us to say one thing we like about you? What do you think? Naru-san, I'm begging you to stop. This is humiliating. Hey, it'll be a good thing. Hearing compliments is always uplifting. Well, yes, I know, but still. Okay, I'll go first. I like how you're cute and easy to mess with. Thank you very much. Why do I get the feeling she's looking down on me? What about you, me? Huh? I have to say one too? Duh, obviously Kodai-kun shouldn't have to say one for about himself. That's just sad. <sighs> Fine. What? She's gonna say something she likes about me? Your handwriting is neat. That is crucial in being a clerk. Oh, uh, I appreciate that. Me? Is that all you have to say? Yes, I can't think of anything else. We have more important things to talk about. Let's get to the letters. Uh, okay, fine. We'll read through them and get it done ASAP. Yes, let's do that. After that, we discuss the information we gathered from the complaint box for about 30 minutes. Hey, I think we've gone through all of them. Yes, you're right, but there is still plenty of time. Since we're all here, why don't we brainstorm what else we can do? Fine, how about we clean this room? That's a great idea. We haven't cleaned the room for a while. I can start sweeping the floor. Great, I'll start sorting out the papers. We all decided on cleaning positions and started on our tasks, but then... Hey, I think I found something! Why don't we just take a break and try this out? A lie detector? I don't understand why that would be in the student council room. Me neither. Maybe one of the senpais forgot it here. How stupid. I will not participate in such nonsense. Well, fine. Kodai kun, let's try it on you. You're not giving me a choice. Relax, I'll go easy on you. I won't ask any serious questions. Uh huh, I guess I can handle that. Great, answer all my questions with a no. Let's get started. First question. Do you call me by my name because you have a crush on me? Uh, well, that would be a no. But hold on a second. Uh... Huh, it's not lighting up or anything. Of course it wouldn't. In case you've forgotten, Naru-san, you're the one who told me to call you by your first name on our first day here. Huh? Did I say that? I don't remember that. You remember, you're pretending not to. Okay, maybe the question was too hard. Kodai-kun, do you have a crush on me? No. Peep. That's a small peep. 
So that means you like me a little? Well, I'm getting curious. Not that I trust an unreliable toy like that. She's a member of the student council and takes good care of me. There's no reason for me to hate her. But that's all. It's nothing romantic. Nice. Honesty is the best. Good. That's all he feels. On to the next question. Kodai-kun, do you have a crush on someone? No. Beep. Kodai-kun, it's feeding you like a buck. I doubt it. I think this thing is broken. This machine is mysteriously accurate. Oh, excuse me for a second. I have a phone call from my boyfriend. Hey, what's up? Oh, I'm alone with the class president. This could be my chance to... Um, would you like to try it out? I have a question for you. I said I won't participate. And you said it's broken a few seconds ago. That toy is not a reliable source. So what if it isn't? We have some free time before Nara-san comes back from her phone call. I'm only doing it because we have too much time. The class president reluctantly slipped the lie detector onto her finger. Great! Please answer no to all of my questions. Okay, I will. Let's see, we'll start easy. Do you have a boyfriend at the moment? No. Hmm, it's not doing anything. Well, that's because I'm single. I'm starting to believe in this thing. Uh, on to the next question. Senpai, do you have a crush on anyone? No. Beep. I see you have a crush. It's broken. You said so yourself. It's the moment I've been waiting for. Here I go. You can laugh it off if I'm wrong. It won't get awkward. There's your crush. Happen to be me? No. Beep. And I think it's desperately trying to tell us something. You dummy, what are you talking about? Um, your face is bright red. This room has no AC. It's too hot in here. Anyway, this light detector is definitely broken. Let's throw it out. Hold on a second. That's not necessary. Uh, not yet. I don't care if the machine is telling the truth or lying. This is an opportunity I can't waste. I've been waiting for this moment. Would you uh, like to go on a date with me? No. What? Yes, we are going on a date. Not so fast, mister. I know that you like animals. How about we go to a cat cafe? No. Burp, 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 burp. So many beeps. I'm glad to see you're excited. No, it's malfunctioning. Okay, I'll stop bugging you if it's bothering you so much. I, uh, I never said it was bothering me. Does 1 p.m. this Saturday at Kano Station sound okay for you? Yes, that's perfect. Woo! I can't believe things went so smoothly. I'm finally going on a date with her. My bad. He had so much to talk about. Y you don't have to apologize. Anyway, I just remembered I have plans today. I'll get going now. Oh, really? Okay. We can clean another day. Hold on. Me? Your face is red. N no, it's not. I'll give you the keys now since I won't be here to close up. Oh, she left in a hurry. Yeah, <laughs> Mia's adorable. I think she ran because she was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, were you listening to us? Yeah, I came back just when you gave the light detector to her, Kodai. You heard our whole conversation. Relax, it's fine. You got your date because I was gone. You should be grateful. Wait, did you lie about getting a phone call from your boyfriend? You weren't that far, but I didn't hear you talking at all. I'll leave that up to your imagination. Hey, I wish you all the best on your date. Yeah, thank you for that. She must be psychic or have superpowers. A few days later, I met up with the class president to go on our date. Aizu-kun, did you wait long? Nope, I just got here. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. This is my first time seeing her out of her uniform. She's so cool. I love how she looks. I read a book called Dating 101 yesterday to prepare for today. Instead, I should compliment my date on her outfit the moment I see her. Uh, your clothes, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool? Oh, thank you. Wait, that's not the reaction I was hoping for. Um, okay. Do you want to head to the cat cafe? Sure, it's not that far from here. Huh? Aizu-kun? Have you been to the cat cafe before? 
Nope, I knew we were meeting at the station, so I looked up cat cafes around the area. Wow, I'm impressed. You came very well prepared. Yep, I want this date to go perfectly. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, she seems to be in a better mood now. I usually go to my favorite cat cafe. Why don't we go there? Sure, sounds like a plan. She has a favorite? How often does she go to cat cafes? Misan guided me to her favorite cat cafe and we went inside. Oh, they're adorable. Senpai, can I ask, uh, are cats your favorite animals? Yes, I'm an animal lover, and cats hold a special place in my heart. I wish I could take one home, but my apartment doesn't allow pets. It's frustrating. I see, so that's why you visit cat cafes often. Yes, I also go to the zoo on weekends. Naru is kind enough to come with me. That sounds like fun. Maybe we can go together next time. Hi, Zukun. I didn't know you liked animals. Yeah, they're great. I have a dog. I've had her for about six years. This is her. Oh my gosh, she looks so fluffy. I'm jealous. Would you like to come over sometime to meet her? My dog is quite friendly. I'm sure she'll love you. You guys will get along. Yes, but wouldn't your family think I am your girlfriend if they see me inside their home? I have no problem with that. Would that be inconvenient for you? Uh, no, I'm fine with it. You seem different today. Uh, very forward. I apologize. I'm not sure if I'll get another chance to take you on a date again. Oh, I'm up for it as long as you want to. Any time. Really? I always thought you were very fond of me because you never talked to me. Why would you think that? I wouldn't have asked you to join the student council if I didn't want you around me. In middle school, I signed up to be a part of the student council, but in high school, you came to ask me if I would join. I never had the opportunity to ask you before. Why did you invite me? Well, I thought you were amazing back when we were both in middle school. Huh? Oh, me? I was a newbie. I had no idea what I was doing back then. I think I caused more trouble for you than anybody else. Really? You were our most respectable, earnest member. And you gave us an interesting reason when we asked you why you signed up. Oh, you remember what I said? Yes, you signed up because you wanted to change yourself. You even asked us to be relentless with your training. I did say that. I lacked confidence back then, and some of my classmates picked on me for that. Yes, you told me that when we met, you were so timid and scared to act or do anything around others. I don't enjoy walking down that memory lane. It's embarrassing. Stop. That's nothing to be embarrassed of. I think you should be proud of yourself. You mustered up the courage to take a step forward. I have always admired you for that. You never gave up on yourself, Aizu-kun. Wow, I appreciate that. Yep, I felt the most joy seeing you grow through your time in the middle school student council. That's why I was excited to reunite with you when you came to the high school. I had no idea you thought of me like that, but last year when we first saw each other in high school, I didn't think you looked that happy to see me. Oh, well... Hey, class president, it's been so long! Hi there, uh, I'm not your class president anymore. We're not working together anymore. Maybe I can get him to call me by my name. Well, you'll always be the class president in my heart. Oh, I see. Uh-oh, she seems upset with me. Does she think I'm creepy for picking the same high school as her? I'm not the class president anymore, but won't he call me by my name? Th that's what was bothering you? I thought you wanted me out of your sight. I thought you hated me. I'm sorry. I had no idea you felt that way. No, I'm sorry. You're right. You asked me to be the clerk for the student council the next time we talked, after you became the class president. Yep, I wanted to catch your attention. That's why I waited to talk to you until I became class president. I thought it would be best that way. Oh, I see. It seems we've had quite a few... misunderstandings. Let me make one thing clear. It's something I need you to know. I've liked you since middle school. Your diligence caught my attention. Thank you for that. So, you said you like me. Does that mean... Uh... Yes, I've always had feelings for you. And I would like you to be my boyfriend. Class, uh, Misan, thank you so much. I wasn't feeling confident at all today. 
I brought the lie detector just in case, but I've realized I don't need the lie detector. I shouldn't rely on a machine. I should ask you what I need to know. I used to look up to your middle school. I worked hard to become more like you. But I know so much more now. I see how you blush when Narusan teases you, and I love how gentle you are with animals. My admiration for you has turned into more. I'm falling for you. Will you be my girlfriend? Um, I would love to be your girlfriend. Yes, I promise to treat you well. And so, Misan and I finally confessed our feelings for each other. I'm excited about what this relationship has in store for us. Two days later, Misan, is it okay if I tell Narusan about this? Yes, go ahead. Huh? Oh my gosh, are you two dating? How did you know it was about that? Well, Kodai Kun is calling you by your first name now, so I figured your date during the weekend went well. Wait, how did you know we went on a date in the first place? Oh, uh, Narusan was listening to us while we were using the lie detector together. I see. That means you left the classroom that day on purpose. Yep, I figured it was time for your love life to move forward. I did what I could do. Wait a second, how did you know I had feelings for Kodai Kun? I never told you. Me, you are pretty obvious. Anybody could have noticed. I think you are easier to read than Kodai Kun was. Oh, I see. Thanks for that. You guys make a perfect couple. You're meant for each other. Oh, I'm waiting for you guys. But keep it PG in the student council room, okay? That's this is so inappropriate! inappropriate. I'm sure Narusan will continue to have fun teasing us. We might as well enjoy it. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.